Our actor got bucked off a mule. We're at the emergency room. Where he is. I'm going in. Oh, shit. It's 5.30 a.m. I've already been up for two hours because we got a big day. You know, I told y'all last time I've never ridden horses before. Because I'm a little bit scared of them. There's no on-off switch. They decide to do something, they can do it, and they're a whole lot bigger than I am. So, yesterday, Man, the host of our show, he's 74 years old, got bucked off a horse. And he's ready to go today. This is going to be a new experience for me. We're still talking about mules. And then, got to get out of town. And when I have to go shoot a video, there are two things that are very important. One, the story a list of questions and how it needs to come together. There's so many things to talk about that we've got to stay on the subject. And two, get on the old cell phone. That's Dale Brisby on there right now, that crazy bull rider making vlogs. And they're getting really good. He's bringing in these interns that know how to use cameras and edit, and I guess they're just working his ass off for him. He's got a pretty good personality, too about a lot over the last few years is that one of the, the things that drives a lot of people uh, crazy is how podcast how of the day materialism Joe Rogan interviewed Elon Musk and I wonder how much of that they must listen is and well, secondly it most certainly fueling it is raining and cats and dogs it almost seems like it's built in suns came up like 10 minutes ago like and, want. and it's so just a big gray ball of water falling out of the sky it doesn't seem all right so we on this setup for a long time. It's what I call my running gun setup. It's a 24 to 105 lens, which gets a good range. 5D. A zoom audio recorder. Two wireless mic receivers. And a light. All sitting on top of a steady cam. So I'm recording high quality audio. Get good video and log. It's lit up on a stabilizer. It weighs about 25 pounds. But I tell you what, I've been working on it a long time. I'm getting comfortable with it, and uh, I have high hopes that everything we're shooting right now is going to be really good. Like we can do walkie talks instead of sit down and interviews. I like using lights though, but they're Amish. They don't, uh, they don't even have a phone. It's just, just an address. And the only way you can order it is through the mail. Anyways, I'm stocking up. I got nine bars on my so This stuff can be awesome. And I shot all the saddles with the uh, steady cam and all that, make it look fancy. form called a tree and cover it in leather. It's a, it's a craft, it's an art. And they, they're good at it. Too. That's one of the Amish strong points is their hand made. You know, horses for most people are just a hobby. But to them, it's the same as like a car or a tractor. It's an essential part of life. Well, folks. That's a wrap on the Butte Boone County Mule Sale. What I was going with earlier, I wanted y'all to talk to Dave, but he was like kind of worn out at the end. We were just talking to people, shooting interviews all morning, and I really wanted, what I was trying to say is that 
I start kind of feeling fat and lazy and old. I mean, I, I, I'm not yet, but just that feeling hits me sometimes and it sucks. But then when I get busy, it goes away. And I think that's a very, very important thing is just staying busy. It keeps our minds like clear or even if there's shit up there it keeps us focused on something besides the shit the ironic part of the next step next part of today is that we're no longer filming mules but we're going back to Texas to a cattle ranch where they got horses and you know what's crazy I have not ridden a horse since Boy Scout camp one of these days, we're gonna saddle one up and get on it. But when Dave got bucked off yesterday, it freaked me out a little bit. And then I watched one almost kick a kid today in the sale, and I just, I don't know. They scare me. There's no on off button with a horse. Blind hills scare me because you can't see what's on the other side and they're super steep so like if there's another car coming it's a tiny two lane road and you just roller coaster style. We're headed to Texas and we've been driving through the Ozark Mountains, and I've kind of been curious about the Civil War history of Missouri. I almost feel like the Civil War was a bigger deal for people that live in the South. I was just reading this plaque, the Salk River Camp. There were 12,000 men here. 8,000 of them went to the Confederate States. 2,000 were part of the Union and then 2,000 went home to protect their families. Like that war was complicated enough. It wasn't like most wars where the country could come together and be united by a common cause. Every state had a different story and we were just a, d a divided mess. Yo Doggins, yo. Hey, yo, you trying to eat all my potato chips? I know you saw me out there filming and just decided I'm gonna jump in the van. This dude's got food in here somewhere. If you didn't have a collar on, I'd probably take you with me. I think a truck dog would be fun. At this point, we'd be all right with a dog. Yeah? You smell like dog, though. You smell like wet dog. Like it's been raining all day long. Oh, good manners too. You got good manners too. Cool. See, we was eating potato chips earlier. He knew what was up. He just came to find him. Oklahoma now. Going to work tomorrow, just taking care of that live stuff. The laundromat is definitely the coolest place to be on a Sunday afternoon. I'm going to do some editing, get ready to roll, and uh, I'll see you guys later.